This is uh, Jonathan Blitz, Mike Sinclair, and Aaron, what's your last name? Steenison. At Mystic Farm and Distillery. We're uh, gonna give you some tasting notes on single barrel Heart of Mystic, uh, 44, 45, 46, and 47. Uh, these are our latest releases and we're excited to have you try them, but I'm excited to try them. First up is barrel number 44. It's at 115.26 proof or 57.63 alcohol by volume. Got a little water for me here? Yeah. All right. This one's definitely a nice nose. Oh, that's pretty. Get some of those nice caramel notes, vanilla. It's nice and sweet. And the finish just kind of leaves you with a little vanilla. That's why it's a really nice long finish on it. I like it at high proof, actually. Yeah, it's got uh, some grassy notes on the nose. Green grass. Green grass. Nice, I really like the finish of it. This one's gonna be nice with cocktails. It's gonna really be able to stand up. It's one of those serious cocktails. I could sit and sip this happily then. It's just a nice long finish. Just smooth, complex, very grassy, long, earthy. Light, light smoke finish, very long. I'll bet if you brought this down to 100, it would just be like a solid. I mean, maybe a little bit of melon, maybe just. I was gonna say, if there's, any, if there's fruitiness, it's uh, kind of like a cantaloupe. Fresh cantaloupe. That is really interesting because as soon as you said that, I smelled it. Mm. You're absolutely right. That's very nice. All right. All right. What do we got next? Next up, barrel 45. All right. Barrel 45 is at 115.15 proof or 57.58% alcohol by volume. I was just gonna say, not getting a huge uh, a vanilla, just a soft vanilla nose. Spicy. This one is, it's just spice. Boom! Mm -hmm. Black pepper. Soft nose, definitely on the rich end of the spectrum Ooh. with that first taste. Oh, it's nice. And spicy. It's spicy. It's but then the spicy goes away and it just leaves you with a nice warm finish. It's all over the tongue too. It's the whole palate. Like it's sweet. Put a little water, it'll be sweeter. Take a shot of water. <clears throat> oh yeah, with some water it sweetens right up. A little sweeter. Just oh man. Ooh, I'm getting a little tobacco there now with some water. Earth. Earthy mm -hmm. tobacco. The nose changed too with the water. Uh, tobacco. <clears throat> now I'm going to be saying cantaloupe all day. You don't get a cantaloupe. Of, I really don't get a lot of fruit. It's more that spice. Mm -hmm. And a vanilla. It's just like a clean, almost vanilla. Nut. But warm spice too, like a little clove maybe. Mm. Yeah. we will get it in the finish. Oh, clovey. Wow. Mm. It's nice. I like the finish on that, that one. Is a, that is a really nice one too. So far, that's my favorite. I like it even more than the 44. All right, 46 is the next one up. You ever notice that my favorite bourbon is the last one we tasted? That's <laughs> <laughs> what if I had last in my class. Barrel number 46 is 115.87 proof, 57.94% uh, alcohol by volume. <clears throat> oh, right away, different nose. Um, Little, what is that? There's like a little fruit to it. A little raspberry. It's kind of fruity. It's pretty cool. Totally different. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I really get to eat this. Not really the, the spice like last time. Not a lot of smite, a spice. Very smooth. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, even at full strength, it's actually pretty smooth. This one has a really dark kind of honey color to it, too. 
darker in color. You know, even with water, that fruit opens up even more. I'm happy. I'm happy with that proof down. It definitely, for me to sit and sip it, I, I like a little water on that. But boy, that is really nice. It's interesting. It's a, it's a smooth, quick finish. And like it's there. It's all over your tongue, and then it's gone. Like it really gets me in front of the tongue more. Yeah, moves but, in uh, strong and moves out. But it's like it's the, the finish sweet. is gone. Yeah, sweet though. The last one you can kind of chew on a while. Um, this one's definitely that. Uh, this doesn't have that peppery now. It's just. No, nope. it's over. A little bit chewy, like you said. Maybe Very sweet. More. Very like sweetness, you know. Raspberry, strawberry. Yeah, it has that finish where I'm like, it's over and I want more right away. Like, Boy, with water, that fruit will really come out. I almost think sweet. if you let this stand for about 10 minutes, it would really open up. There's a little more. More there. I'm really liking that fruit, you know, with it. Mm -hmm. What number was that? That was 46. Wow. I'm still back at 45 though. That, that, that's a really nice one. 46. <clears throat> so 47 is up next. All right, barrel number 47 is weighing in at 115.43 proof or 57.72% alcohol by volume. minerals. Wow, what a cool finish though. Oh my god. I don't even know how to describe that. It's like a starburst finish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a, it's like liquid caviar just bursts yeah, right it away just in your mouth. Bursts yeah. And then and now it's almost gone. It has that like mineral quality like you're almost like a lick on some stone. Like almost like sand yeah. or something like it's mm -hmm. mineral. It's Sweet. Where did this cut? I mean, this must have come from the barrel. Probably the minerals in the wood. Yeah. Right, right. The mouthfeel on this one's really velvety. Yeah, the really what? Too. Velvety. Length oh yeah. It fills your whole. Your whole but then that right. that finish just goes and it's gone. But it's like a burst of. Uh... Yeah. Mm. That's pretty cool. It's a cool one. It really is. Cool. That's like a. It's like a novelty bourbon. <laughs> I would, I would say that oak tree grew uh, in some rocky soil. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give <laughs> yeah, it. I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, it had to. Have, it had to because that mineral quality is cool. It's, it's similar to some of the wines I've had. That kind you of know, blue. it's got that sort of the uh, you know cave like. Uh, I don't think I've added it. any water to it yet. I've just been sitting here fascinated by it, and now I put some water in it. Mm. Oh, with water. I all right. Now that's my favorite. That was cool. Yeah. Clear. All right, if you're gonna collect something, collect this, because that is that is wicked cool. 47 is a very unique one. It really is. It's like I woke up twice today. That is really, really neat. Right. And I want to say 47 was the one we didn't have quite as much of. Of course. Of course, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Most limited. All right. Aaron, what's your favorite? Well done. Um, I'm gonna say 47. 45 had that, that very interesting kind of cantaloupe flavor to it though too, that's still lingering in my mind. I think I'm going 46. I really was doing the fruit. 46. 47 all the way, and then 45 I thought was nice. They're all solid, but those two, there's something really kind of special and different about them. Thank you so much. Uh, come by, check out all these releases and our very, very incredibly good bottled in bond release. Uh, these are 2017 uh, barrels from the latter half of 2017 blended together. Exceptional, I'm very proud of that release. I'd love to have you try it. You can always come in and taste it. Uh, and then watch out for Broken Oak Release 5 is coming February 2022. And uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you at the farm. Cheers. Cheers.